So as you've been, you know, managing the development team, how have you applied some of the financial rigor to that? Because, you know, when we worked on the project together originally, you know, costs change as the scope changes and Mm -hmm. our budgeting process wasn't super like solidified as in it was a fixed amount. Like how have you applied the financial skills and, and analysis to development costs? Do you try to sync that up at all with a team? We do. In fact, some of the ways that we tag our cards that need to be developed is we tag them by what are they impacting? And one of the tags that we have is if they're a financial impact. And so we try to prioritize based on how quickly do we need that financial need. Um, but then to your question about the costs, uh, it's, it's funny. I was joking with our CTO the other day when we were re- revising our roadmap for the next three months. And I listen to them and I'll push back where I think I need to push back and he'll let me know what's actually realistic and what's not. And once we get it finished, I'll look at it and look at all the things that didn't make it on the three month list and go, I need to get you guys more help here. Like we need to grow sales so that you guys can get more team members. Um, so it's, it's just, it, we were just very personal, very genuine, just looking at the data, looking at the needs together and figuring it out. Nice. 